morning, everyone, on this beautiful day. Welcome to Local Lifestyles. I'm Angie Humphrey. I'm Ron Rhodes. Hey, this is the last weekend of June, and I love it. We've got the it summer is. temperatures. We don't have the rain in the forecast. How about that? That's especially nice after the rain we've had this month. It's yep. been crazy. The gully washers. The gully washers. And toad stranglers. Exactly. <laughs> Coming up today on Local Lifestyles, none of that that he just nope. said. If you love the blues, Bird at Park is the place to be this July for the River Basin Blues Society. It's the fourth annual Blues Fest. And Bridge, Left Turn Productions and the Evansville Public Library have partnered to present a series addressing implicit bias in America and what can be done to transform our community. A new musical about Abraham Lincoln hits the stage at the Lincoln Amphitheater. We got the ticket in Info cool. for you. Wesselman Woods, Ron, is going to celebrate International Mud Day with lots of muddy fun <laughs> and Barda's bar affordable painting. You're going to give you a, a leg up on all those painting projects for this summer because we all have them. Did you we make mud have, pies when you were a kid? Of course you? I did. I think we all kind of played out in the mud. I remember like, I and I dig like in the dirt, and that, that would be like my road for my little yes, match, you yes. know, matchbox cars mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Those were the days. Those were the days before and iPhones. And yeah. Wesselman we had Woods to actually is play. bringing them back. I know, and we're going to make a mud pie today. You ready to get to today's Daily Dish? Let's dish it. Let's get to the Daily Dish, Roll friends. It. Hey, grab a cup of bubble tea and those chewy bubbles at the bottom of your tapioca on Tapioca Day. That's what it is down there, actually. It's a big culinary trend cool. that started in Taiwan. Right. The pearls are also used to make tapioca pudding. It's a starch that's extracted from the cassava plant, and it can be made into a flour that's used for make a flatbread. So be sure to take photos of whatever tapioca treat you enjoy on this day and post them on social media with the hashtag National Tapioca Day. I'm trying to sound excited about it. I mean, I'm really you trying not, to. It's, it's, it's not coming through. You are not a fan of tapioca, I'm Angie. not a fan of tapioca. I'm, I'm feeling that you're not a fan. Obviously, there are people that do enjoy uh, tapioca. Uh, obviously, it has its own day. Although, I did a poll the other day about what's your favorite pudding. I remember. Chocolate, banana. I had tapioca in there, along with Charlie Stocker's favorite persimmon pudding. Yes. Uh, persimmon but, pudding and tapioca did not fare well. They didn't show up, did they? <laughs> well, but they showed know, up a little bit. The reason it was an epic fail is because you didn't have bread pudding on there. I know. I needed the bread pudding. I that know. Was, that was a failure on my part. It was. Well, I forgive you. Thank you. Well, there's a new species of dinosaur, and it's been discovered in Brazil. With the help of a computer graphics, researchers have found fragments of bones in an excavation. They were able to give life to this dinosaur that was 1.5 meters long and 1 meter high with hands and small arms and large feet with strong According to the researchers in the city of Parana, or Par, Par, I'll get it right one of these days, Par, Parana, the dinosaur was carnivorous, agile, and fast. The species Vespersaurus, Vesper means west in Latin, and it's a reference to the city where the fossils were discovered. Pretty cool looking guy. He got a cool name. I mean, I'd like to be the like, Vespersaurus. wouldn't it be cool to have a last name like Vespersaurus? You it could be would Andy be. Andy or Angie Vespersaurus. I could be Ron Vespersaurus. That would be kind of a cool thing. Or not. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, that's a good day. I mean, it's better I than like some of I like Vesper. Vesper works. I don't think I ever want Saurus after my, <laughs> the end of my, my that, name. That would for make sure. us sound old, wouldn't it? it that, would. We don't need that. I yeah. don't want to do that. Well, no. but they found him anyway. <laughs> well, caught on camera and an Ohio town experience an invasion of something that is like something out of the movies, a horror movie, actually. Swarms of mayflies flocked to northeast Ohio's lakeshore, resulting in blankets of bugs yesterday. Wow. Luckily, mayflies are harmless to people living in the area, nothing to worry about. However, this swarm was so dense that it was picked up on weather radar. But the invasion shouldn't last long because mayflies after they, mayflies after they hatch only last about two days. Yeah, One well, or two days, but two, two days. Two miserable of days. Of <laughs> May Tell that to the dude that's got mayflies all over his the car. And he's not going to wait two days for him to leave and die or die and, and fall off, I, I guess. How I dense mean, did that have to be, though, to be caught on radar? Uh, fairly dense. You know, but, you know, you can catch raindrops, too. I mean, but if it's just like one or two, you're not going to catch it. But, yeah, you get a swarm like that, especially flying at a certain altitude. You and can catch them on radar. And do they get up high enough? Would it, do you have you to be wouldn't a think certain... they would. Yeah, exactly. That, the, yeah, they have to be at a certain height. But you know they're probably flying all over the place. Probably, and that's probably. They've only more. got two days, Angie. They got to go. They got you got to go for it. Go for the gusto. Well, that's more than you wanted to know about mayflies, I'm sure. Probably. When we come back, we're going to help get your summertime painting projects on the go with Barda's Affordable Painting. <laughs>